get my six. There are so many mysterious creatures screaming from this forest as I hold up a teeny tiny little teriyaki flavored chicken wing piece. They all want it, but there's not even enough for one. It's so tiny. Look. But there's a method to the madness. It's so small. They've got to get really, really, really close to see exactly what it is. You know, we've been doing it all wrong lately, luring, luring them in with giant turkey drumsticks, <clears throat> with ginormous boxes of candy. Of which they did not eat. No, they did not eat the giant box of candy. Okay. A couple of days ago, they took the Snickers bars. Night before that, they took the uh, giant turkey drumstick. But for some reason, yesterday evening, though they appeared to be coming for the giant box of candy, they didn't take it. I don't know if because it was wrapped, you know, in too much cellophane. Maybe they couldn't smell it. Maybe they were just curious to that large white box but they didn't take it so I took it and I ate most of it today it's a secret so anyway I uh, I almost didn't come out this evening to see what we may or may not see up here in the forest behind my home I almost didn't make a video of it but uh, you know there's a lady in East Texas her name's Sandy and if Sandy can drive nine miles one way in the rain to buy a pair of reading glasses to help her better squint at these videos to see what it is she may or may not be seeing back here, like right there, squint, Sandy, squint. The least I can do is take some time out of my day to come up here and give her something to squint at. Now... I really am trying to lure him in closer by using a smaller piece of... Man, it looked like one was right here behind the tree right behind me. Let me see if we can zoom. Okay, I need to use this hand to be able to zoom. So I had to stick the tiny teriyaki flavored chicken wing right there on that apple tree. I'm hearing footsteps back there and I thought I saw something peeking around the side of a tree. It'll be dark soon. We've been having great success here. This time of day, this week. And capturing them on film. So let's see if lightning can strike. What would this be, the fourth time? Okay, so I left the teriyaki chicken there at that apple tree, and I'm gonna go in between it and where we've been seeing them here lately. So they'll have to come past me to get to the chicken. So get my six. Now what I was talking about, Sandy in Texas, I was just going through the comments here a little while ago after I decided to I decided to take the day off. You know, I wasn't gonna make a video. We've had so much success just in the last few nights figured I was due a day off but then I read in the comment section this lady Sandy in East Texas said that she loves these videos so much she's gotten tired of using a magnifying glass to watch for all the crazy stuff moving around in the background so she drove nine miles into town one way to get a pair of reading glasses 
uh, so she could watch the videos. And I thought, man, how can you not just go make a video just for that person? So here I am. Now, what am I going to talk about? Because I had nothing planned. Well, do you think I ever plan any of the other stuff I talk about? Really? Come on, you've seen those videos. I'm going to talk to you about a recent conversation I had with a friend of mine who, uh, I don't want to go as far as to say that he's a, he's an actual true believer in cryptids, but he is a believer in the possibility of cryptids. He would buy into that whole potentially aspect of things, which is pretty much The underlying, uh, well, I mean, somebody else said in the comments yesterday that I need to stop saying that word potentially after what we've captured on video here the last couple of days. And I'd say that person's probably. Something just moved. Here on the ground and then a squirrel up in the tree barked in warning. Okay, if you heard the squirrel, that was a squirrel. I never try to claim things on here or what they're not. That was a squirrel, but it was barking in reaction to something that moved over here on the ground. I'm going to reverse the camera so we can zoom and then talk to you about what my buddy told me about cryptids. Some of these things, because people have said in the comments that uh, there's a portal here. That's what he thinks. Let me explain to you what he explained to me as we try to zoom in on what may or may not be over there making that noise. Tree knock. All right, so my buddy believes potentially in Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Dogman, Wendigo, and he truly believes that these things are not interdimensional. It's not that they're living in an alternative dimension. He believes they have the ability to travel through portals. I hear footsteps. I hear big ones. Something's coming in to get that chicken wing. So the gist of my buddy's theory is that these things are here. I mean, to fast forward to the end of his story, because I'm gonna to wanna to record some footage here and not talk over top of the sounds I'm hearing. He believes they are here. But he doesn't think they live here permanently. He thinks they come here through portals.
So I've moved up the hill. I'm right beside the chicken wing. Because I wanted to make sure those squirrels weren't coming for it. And twice I've heard something back here. Like that. Like a light growl. So anyway, what are your thoughts? Do you think these things come in and out of portals? Is this why? It's so hard to find actual physical evidence like bodies, hair, fur, tentacles, scales, whatever their outer bodies are made up of. Is this why in the world of cryptozoology, we can only rely mainly on blurred images, fuzzy video clips, like we've fortunately been able to capture here over the last few days? Is this why so few are brave enough to, to take up a career in cryptozoology, knowing that because we do rely so heavily upon blurred images and fuzzy video footage, we're probably going to be called crazy. I hear what sounds like something with claws. Like standing there just scratching the side of a tree. Sounds like they're walking off the hill to come get the chicken wing. They can clearly be heard, but they cannot be seen. Well, guys, I'm smelling that teriyaki chicken from that tree and from my fingertips. And I'm hungry. So I'm going to go in and eat. I hope I've given you all something to squint at. Sandy and others, if you saw anything odd, please timestamp it for the others. I'm gonna go eat teriyaki chicken wings. And the rest of all that chocolate, I had it in my office. Don't, don't tell my wife it's a secret.
Let's see here for more next time to PBS. S. The potential Bigfoot Sasquatch. Show.